see what um what chakra we are working with. Watch it be the throat chakra, because I know I'm working on my throat chakra all the damn time. <clears throat> Grand Rising, everybody. I hope everyone is doing fantastic today. I am doing great, too. It's almost Friday. It's baby. It's baby Friday today. All right. So the card that we got this morning, I pulled two of them. And they're all purple, which is the third eye, which is all of these beautiful things up here okay so we got number 48 we got hope support miracles and spirituality have faith and it's crazy because i just posted my new page magic hands powerhouse um i'm trying to rebrand myself and basically what i do um because i don't i no longer want to be known as just the plastic surgery whatever you guys call me i really want for you guys to know me for like what i really love to do which is to spread the word and help you guys find your path right um because a lot of us we get lost in society and we get lost with like the world right and what everybody expects us to do and to be and how to look and all this stuff and um, I think I've been in this, in this industry long enough to shed some light into, it's not, a lot, it's not all about what's on the outside, okay? And I know it sounds like cliche to say what matters is what's on the inside, but in the 14 years that I've been doing body work, <laughs> ooh, it really does matter what's on the inside you know because if you're not a good person inside or if you don't know how to be a good person or if you don't understand what's going on in your mind or in your feelings or in your heart uh then you just don't understand you know and the thing is that a lot of us um that feel off um we're natural healers like we're natural empaths and the reason why we feel off is because we are very sensitive to other people's energies and we take upon other people's energies really quickly, right? So let's just say, for example, you're chilling, you know, and like you're, you're feeling good, you know, and then all of a sudden you walk into the store or you walk into a room or something and you just feel like, you just feel heavy or you just feel off, right? It's not necessarily you, it's basically the atmosphere that you walked into. So sometimes uh, we are the ones that clear out um, some of the, yes it is, it's so much more than an image. And that's why um, I think a lot of us get pushed into, it's about the image thing because of society. And then we, as women and men too, because men are really hard on themselves also, um, you know, we kind of like just <sighs> like that, right? So let me just go in a little bit deeper into these two cards. So we got number 48, which is faith. And then we got also numbers uh, 39, which is also 12 and three. And okay really quick and <clears throat> really quick and then i have to go because i don't really like to do these for such a long time anymore um it says here when we order food in a restaurant we know that it will come sometimes right away sometimes it may take a little while but it will come and when it does we almost always get what we ask for life delivers us experiences in a similar way based on our feelings based in base based on our feelings feeling-based intentions and faith-filled action. The challenge is that we seldom take time to clarify our order based on what we truly desire. Okay, before I keep reading that, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of um, whatever. Last night, um, we still have, like we're still in the phases of the full moon vibes, right? So last night, so usually on a full moon, you're supposed to release 
the things that don't resonate with you anymore in order for you to make room for the good things right for the next month to come because it's a cycle every single month we have a full moon and we have a new moon so every single month we have a new cycle a new way of seeing things a new things to manifest in our life you know what i'm saying and and i have been <clears throat> i have been um honored to have my soul family with me and um i just want to give like a really big shout out to my sister her name is belisa um i always tag her when i get like my roll-ons and my herbal stuff and all that but it's just um sometimes we need family like that in order to kind of help us understand what it is that we're going through or what it is that we're feeling right because a, a, a different perspective is always good for us right because <clears throat> it just makes life a little bit easier to have a different perspective of things right because if you just think about things one specific way like you get it's almost like a like a consistent like little hamster wheel back like same shit same shit same shit so why are you gonna keep thinking the same way if you're gonna keep getting the same damn outcome for that just do something else get off the wheel and do something else so that way you can attract something different so back to back to your order right <clears throat> so a few years back i had um like a relationship stuff happen and uh i didn't really know why i was like what was happening right i just knew that i had to work on myself so that way i could attract better so I literally did like a, a little ritual and I wrote down to the universe, to God, whoever, you, whatever you want to call the higher power. And I wrote a letter and I was like, okay, well, this is what I want. I want this, 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 and that. And I manifested um, a guy in my life, right? But I wasn't specific. I wasn't detailed to my order. So I got what I asked for and what I asked for wasn't. What I asked for was exactly what I wrote down. But now, six months later, it didn't go anywhere. It didn't go where I wanted it to go, right? But then again, we as humans expect things to go a specific way and God has a plan and God's like, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. You might have manifested, you know, this guy in your life, but you weren't specific with your order. So you, you got what you asked for. And then I'm like sitting back like, hold on i didn't this this i wanted some of this but i wanted much more so it's like be clear on what it is that you want the universe to give to you because you're gonna get it okay you're gonna get it so be very detailed in what you want and be very clear because if you're like going back and forth I want this I don't want this I want you know to better myself but then I'm scared of this and then the universe is gonna be like girl what it is that what it is that what it is that you want what is it that you want because I really don't understand what you're telling me so my advice to you is be clear on what it is that you want so that way the universe can give you back what it is that you really want you know so it says here, <clears throat> the challenge is that we seldom take time to clarify our order based on what we truly desire, choosing to focus on a menu items that we don't really want instead. And when we do get clear, we often undermine our clarity through self-doubt and fearful expectations. Hello? <laughs> I just finished saying that. You know, it's like, I asked for it, you got it. And then it's like, Dang it, I had to add this, 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 that. So it's almost like take time right now to gather yourself and like really feel what it is that you want and kind of envision it. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's a little bit difficult, you know? It says here, now is the time to bolster your faith. Faith is your ability to believe in that which is not yet vis visible. Again, believing in the non-physical in order for you to bring it into physical, right? So 
I've been getting um like a lot of uh energies, right? And I'm just like I was just talking to my mentor, Belisa, and then I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with me. Like I feel stuck, but I feel excited and I feel anxious and I feel this and I feel that and I'm just like, what the freak is going on? So there goes the moon cycle again. There goes the planets and this and that. And I was like, shit, I really have to, you know, study this stuff. So that way I know what's going to, what's going to happen or how I'm going to be feeling. So that way I know how I can use the energies that I'm feeling for my improvement. Right. Or that way I don't get a trip out or that way I can also kind of like, <clears throat> strategize when I'm going to take my time off, when I'm going to lay low on social media, when I'm going to, you know, just relax and do like me and stuff. Right. So we all need to do that because again, society likes to fuck with our mental state. Right. And again, we know, we don't know what everybody goes through because we don't live with them. And even if we do live with them, you still don't know what's really going on in their head. Okay. And our thoughts have such a freaking powerful outcome or or in or not outcome but yeah i guess outcome or or um what is the word that i'm looking for it's not it's not outcome it's an influence okay our thoughts have such a huge influence on our feelings and that's one thing that we need to be really con conscious and cautious about because a feeling can help you produce and help you manifest your dreams faster, right? Good and bad. So be cautious and conscious of the feelings that you're feeling, right? Because those feelings can fire up, you know, your, your, your dreams, right? So you just have to be conscious of what you're thinking so switch it start thinking more positive than negative trust me i know it's hard but if you get off social media and you stop listening to the fucking news i guarantee you're gonna be like oh my god trust me because i've done that <laughs> and the amount of uh the amount of freedom that i've had in my brain is like crazy right it's like crazy so i love you i love you okay so let me keep reading this it says to accept and acknowledge support from seen and unseen places with faith we can see beyond our current circumstances to the full realization of our highest visions we see our needs clearly and we know that those needs will be wonderfully met we do not judge or react to unexpected developments, but we choose instead to see the gift within each turn of the river. With faith, our prayers and intentions are not with angus, but with calm gratitude for the miracles unfolding around us, for all that we are in the process of receiving. The meaning of certain events is not always clear while we are in them, but with faith, we can trust in the great unfolding of the plans. As the saying goes, everything happens for a reason. And it's so crazy because it's true. Like every single day we get a message from the universe or a message from a song or a message from a person like me, like you're watching on this freaking phone thing, right? Or a text message or you think about somebody and they instantly call you or text you or whatever. And it's just because we're all connected together. And if we can learn to listen, right? If we can learn to actually listen, then a lot of our struggles in life, we won't really see as struggles. We'll just see them as lessons. Like, like I've said this before to a lot of my clients. <clears throat> Sometimes God gives you the easy way to learn it. The little, oh, I'm going to show you the... The nice way, I'm going to show you the nice way a few times, one or two times, and you still don't understand. So then guess what God's going to do? You're going to learn it the hard way. <laughs> Trust me, the hard way is not good. The hard way is tears, 
But you know what? Sometimes we need to learn the hard way because that is the only way that we're literally like pushed. Like we're on the edge and the hard way just goes, yeah, you know what? Go. And then it's just like you fall and you're like, oh, what am I doing? And then when you land, you're like, shit, this is why. This is why I was pushed to the limit is because I needed to level up. I need to level up. And the same thing will happen to all of us if we don't listen the easy way, you know? So I would suggest, <laughs> trust me, <laughs> trust me. I almost got bit by a scorpion yesterday, but because I was very conscious and cautious of what I was doing and I was present in the moment, I did not get bit. Because I promise you, when I lifted up the rug, I felt I felt the scorpion bite my fingers so much that I had to look and I'm like, yo, you did not get, that thing was not even around you, sis. Like, you good. But I'm pretty sure that in a previous or in another dimension or whatever you want to call it, at that particular moment, probably another me was not paying attention and the bitch got bit. <laughs> like, hello, are you in the moment right now? Oh, you're not? Okay, well, guess what? I'm going to send a freaking scorpion to bite you in the freaking finger so that way you know what's up. Trust me. I, I didn't I didn't use that. I didn't go that route. I was, I was good. It was really good. I was, was kind of scared, though. I was like, oh, shit. I've never seen a scorpion in my life like that. But I did. I was like, oh, hi there, little scorpion. Thank you very much. And so, you know, there's always a message from the universe and that was the message for me I, my uh i i texted i texted my mentor and i was like sister oh my god i just saw i just saw the scorpion what oh my god i'm scared what's gonna happen <laughs> because previous many months ago or whatever another one of my friends <laughs> saw a scorpion and like a lot of bad shit started happening to her in her life and i was like oh my god but i've been doing really good like i've been putting out good positive energy like oh my god oh my god and i was freaking out and then she's like yo sis relax relax you didn't get bit so that's not a bad thing it's actually a good thing and then you know google's our best friend so we googled you know and i was like oh it means transformation <laughs> Oh, damn, I was going to say, man, my armpits are already hot, but shit, I'm sweaty over here. You know, so I was like, geez, okay, so transformation, that is good because I've been feeling that. I've been feeling that deep down inside. I've been feeling the transformation that I'm doing, you know, not to mention that I'm also rebranding my business. Well, or should I say myself because my body contour 305 is right here, is me, which now I'm thinking... That even when I started my business, I should have just named it The Real Magic Hands, Yare. Because the person behind My Body Contour 305 is me. It's only me. Everybody thinks that I have like 500 people behind me. But I do, actually. I do have, I do have support. But you guys can't see my support. My support is all is with me all the time and I just have to call upon them all the time <clears throat> but physically physically I allow the universe to help me do what I do by just surrendering and just letting God work through me you know and that's why I'm able to work every single day that's why I'm able to be healthy every single day and and have all of these all of this <clears throat> extra energy to give to you guys you know it's because i have literally just surrendered and i am just a vessel i am just a vessel i'm just here as a shell and i just let the divine whatever you want to call it flow through me so that way i can reach more people you know the last thing on this card it says look at your beliefs and what has influenced your spiritual path where does your faith come from and in what? Who do you place your faith the most in? This card encourages you to expand your perspective about spirituality and faith. 
Maybe that's a reason why you're on this page too. Because a lot of people, when they talk about when you when we when everybody talks about spirituality or um, healers or whatever, like what do you guys picture? You guys either picture like a nun or a priest or or a or somebody in the jungle. Or, but you know what? All of us are healers. We just have to start doing the work on ourselves so we can find out who it is that we are and what it is that we're supposed to be doing here, right? And I, by far, I, by far, <clears throat> I don't look like a nun and I don't look like a priest, but I know that I'm here to share the word. So if you resonate with people that look like me, that are spiritual, then you're on the right path, okay? Then you're on the right path. It says, this card is letting you know that you are guided and supported right now. <clears throat> Listen to the whispers, whispered call of this guidance and follow where it leads you. Most of the time, it leads you straight to me because a lot of the people that I have come across in the last two or three years of my practice, um, the only thing that I keep hearing is, I don't know, something just kept drawing me back to you. Something just kept drawing me back to your page. And I just like your energy. And I just like this. And I'm like, well, I attract, what is it? My vibe attracts my tribe, right? Well, if you resonate with me, then we family. We soul family, right? It says, you don't need to see the entire path ahead or every detail that is to come. Just take a leap of faith and know that you are not alone. You're never alone, ever. And if you ever do feel alone, get on here and text me or whatever, because trust me, you're never alone. Even if you feel like you're by yourself, you're not. You're not, trust. It says, be grateful for even small miracles that are occurring around you right now, like waking up in the morning and breathing and going outside and seeing the sky. That, to me, is a tiny miracle, okay? So with that, I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you guys have a blessed Thursday. I hope that I was able to give you some type of knowledge or some type of encouragement. Um, please feel free to follow my new Instagram page where I will be sharing everything that I do. Or I should just say I'm just going to be posting um, my work on basically all the type of healings that I do and the type of uh, things that I can do that I'm no longer going to hide, that I'm no longer going to not talk about. I'm going to be an open book to you guys. So if you want to connect with me, go ahead and uh, slide into the DM. Um, if you are replaying this, let's connect. Um, remember to be the light. And I love you guys, and thank you so much for your support. And remember, you're never alone. You just have to change the perspective of what it is that you're looking at. Because there's always a positive thing. Oh, one last thing. Rejection. Rejection is God's protection. So don't be sad if somebody rejects you. Because they weren't meant to be in your life. Shout out to Miami Hot Lashes for keeping my eyeballs nice and pretty. Shout out to my tattoo artist, Joey. I need to see you because I need to fill in this all this other stuff. Right? And um, 